Hey everybody, welcome to Merchanaries. Today we're going to continue this sketch and show you how to draw vector art using only your mouse. This sketch is available to download on our website so that you can follow along with me, and this entire series is a playlist on our channel so you can watch the whole thing in one go. Getting started here, we're going to make the face on our hot dog. For the smile, use your pen tool to place points on each edge of the mouth and on the bottom of the smile. Switch your fill and stroke using Shift X. Now use your Convert Anchor Point tool to drag curves out from your anchor points. On this point, we don't want a curve on the right, so we'll delete it by clicking on the curves handle using the Convert Anchor Point tool. You can adjust your curves by pulling on the handles using the Direct Selection tool. For the eyes, you can use the pen tool, but it would be quicker to use the ellipse tool just to draw some ovals. Switch to it using L and drag your oval shape over the eyes. You can move the ovals by switching to your selection tool or the black mouse cursor. Next, let's draw the ends of the hot dog where the casing would pucker. Using a stroke, draw a line and drag your second point to make a curve. For these lines, use a slightly lighter stroke. Using a variety of stroke weights will help keep your design interesting. Now change the profile of this line in the stroke panel to a tapered line. And repeat that for the rest of the pucker. When you zoom out, you can see how adding that detail really makes it start to look like an actual hot dog. Moving on to the other end, place a line and give it a slight curve. Make the stroke the same way as you did on top and change the profile to a tapered line. Do this for the other lines as well. If you don't like where your pucker is, use the selection tool and select all of your lines. Now you can either drag and drop them where you'd like them to be or nudge them with your keyboard arrows. If your nudge is a little bit too much or too little, open your preferences and change the keyboard increment. Moving on to the mustard, you might think, okay, we're going to outline this whole thing, but I actually have a way quicker way to do this. First, let's change the stroke to a lighter gray so that we can see what we're doing on top of it. Let's also change the transparency of our trace layer to multiply so we can see the sketch underneath. Now give your stroke a fat weight and change the cap to a rounded cap. Using the pen tool, place and drag your points along the mustard. Don't use too many points or the mustard won't be as smooth. Select the stroke and go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke to turn it into a fill. Switch your fill and stroke by using Shift X and set your stroke to the outside of your shape in the stroke panel. Now give this a white fill and change the outline of the hot dog back to black. So now you can kind of see that this is starting to come together, but let's give our mustard some dimension. Use the pen tool to draw lines coming off of the bends in the mustard. Make the stroke weight the same as what you've been using for the pucker and for the mustard just to keep things consistent. Now grab all those lines you just drew using the selection tool. You can hold shift to grab multiple lines. Go into your stroke panel and change the profile to a tapered line. You can see how adding those lines kind of made the mustard look a little bit more juicy. So now that our mustard has a bit of depth and dimension, let's make it look a bit more real. 
Not that we're going for realism here, but the mustard wouldn't begin and end perfectly like this, so we're going to change a few points. Grab an anchor point using the direct selection tool and move it so that you end up crushing the end of the mustard. Do this on the other end and feel free to delete any anchor points along the way if you feel like that's necessary. Now up here we have a line that we still need to ink, so we're going to do that with the pen tool by placing a point and then dragging out the curve. Now we'll set the weight of the stroke to match our other line work and we'll change the profile of this line into this taper here. I also made some marks where some sesame seeds would go and the quickest way to make these would be to use the ellipse tool again. Draw a perfect circle by holding shift as you drag your circle out. Now use the direct selection tool to grab the bottom of the anchor point and drag it down slightly. Remove the curve from this point by clicking on it using the convert anchor point tool. This is a pretty basic seed shape, but it looks a little bit fat to me. We can squish the seed by switching to the selection tool and holding alt while we resize it. By holding Alt while we resize, we can work from both sides simultaneously. This seed also looks a little bit sharp for my taste, so to fix that, you simply change the join in the stroke panel to a round join. Now drag your seed over to your bun and rotate it. You can copy and drag other seeds by holding Alt as you drag your seed to the next location. Make sure you rotate them every time so that your seeds don't look too uniform. We're basically done inking this hot dog, but I want to take a second to show you guys how to make your drawings a bit more interesting by adding some slight details. Let's add a bit of personality to the face here. One thing you can do is give a bit of depth to the eyes. So we're going to make a line with our pen tool here and make the eyes look hooded. And we'll do the same thing for the other eye. Next, we're going to add some smile lines to the mouth. Just a few small curves on the edges is enough to make our hot dog look much happier. We can even put a line in the mouth with a white stroke to show that he has a tongue. You can always pack more detail into your drawing, but I'm happy with this so far. In the next video, we'll be coloring and shading him, and eventually separating him for screen printing. Once again, this sketch is available on our website for free download so you can follow along. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!